Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. Today's video is the third in the series, You Ask, I Answer. The video in question is one of my most popular videos with 33,000 views that's titled, How Do I Remove My Facebook Page from My Facebook Business Manager? And today's question comes from Anna L. Anna L. asks, is there a way to get this back after we remove it? And the answer is absolutely. So let me show you how. To get to Facebook's business manager, go ahead and type business.facebook.com forward slash settings in your browser and hit enter. And again, the reason why we type in this specific URL is because there's a meta business suite and there's a Facebook business manager. And if you don't know the difference, go back and watch this video that I'm referencing that Anna L had the question about. And I will drop the link to that in the description below. Once on the Facebook business manager, click on the business where you want to add the page back to. Before we get started, I just wanna mention a few things. This video is about adding a page back that you removed from Facebook Business Manager. However, if you'd like to add a page that's never been added to Business Manager, you may also follow these same steps. If you also watch the video that Anna L watched, you will notice that the Facebook Business Manager now says Meta in the upper left hand corner. So even though the Facebook Business Manager and the Meta Business Suite are separate, the Facebook Business Manager now has the word Meta on it because as you may know, Facebook changed their name to Meta or they actually formed the company Meta, which Facebook is now under. I hope that makes sense. Once inside Facebook's Business Manager, you want to make sure that you're on the correct business portfolio. So if you have multiple portfolios set up within your Facebook account, you want to click on the drop down arrow directly under business settings on the left side panel. So you would click on this drop down arrow, select the correct business portfolio. Next over on the left side panel, click on pages. Over on, on the right panel, there's a blue add button. Go ahead and click add, and then you have choices. So you can either add a page or you can request access to a page. So if you are a social media manager or someone that manages other organizations' pages, you will click on request access to a page. If you want to add a page, that you already own, you would click add a page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add a page. Under the add a Facebook page dialog box, you're going to go ahead and click in that box. I'm just going to type the first letter of the page and you'll see that several pages have popped up that have S's in them. I'm going to go ahead and select the page that I want to add. After you've selected the page that you want to add, go ahead and click add page and your page will now be in Facebook's Business Manager. Now, I'm not going to add this page to my Facebook Business Manager because I don't want it in there, but you go ahead and follow these instructions. If at some point you want to remove that page, you can go back and watch the video on how to remove your page from Facebook's Business Manager. Again, the link will be in the description. Now, in the case of Meta Business Suite, you will need to type business.facebook.com in your browser's address bar, hit enter, and just as you did in the Business Manager, you'll want to look directly under Meta Business Suite, click on the drop down arrow, and make sure that you click on the correct business portfolio you may need to click on the gear icon or you'll also notice that the your accounts are listed below after i clicked on the gear icon of the portfolio that i selected 
it brings me to Meta Business Suite settings page. Now on that Meta Business Suite settings page, go ahead and click on pages over on the left. As you can see, it says no pages added. I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue add button. And then the options are add an existing Facebook page, request shared access to a Facebook page, or create a new Facebook page. So in this case, based off of Anna L's question, we're going to go ahead and click on add an existing Facebook page. Again, if you needed to request access, you would just click on request access. I'm going to go ahead and click in the box and just type the first letter of the page that I want to add and I'm going to click on that page. Now here you'll see it says someone with full control of the page must approve your request. So when it's been approved, you can add people to help manage the page, contents, ads, insights, messages, comments, settings, and permissions. So here I could either click on next or request approval. So just for the interest of this video, I'm going to go ahead and click next, even though I don't want my page in this business suite. Now, as you can see over on the left, the select a page now has a green circle with a white check mark, which means that was step one. So step two is request approval. So what you'll see here is a review and send request dialog box. And then it shows what you're requesting, which is to add this page to this particular business portfolio. So one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is click the check box that says I agree to meta terms of service and pages, groups, and events and policies on behalf of this business portfolio. Once you check that box, you can go ahead and click claim page. But because I don't want to add this page, I'm not going to do this. But if you want to, you can go ahead agree to the terms and claim the page. Now if this is your account and your business portfolio, you most likely will get a request from Facebook stating that this all has happened and it may ask you to approve it. If you request access to someone else's page, you will most definitely get a message in your in your notifications and they also will get a request in their notifications to approve this. So that's what's going to happen. So make sure that you check your notification bell and that you also alert the person who you're requesting page access from to check the bell on their notification tab in Facebook. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Once again, this is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.